It's been about two years since we've varnished the cap rail. So the painter went in and sanded down the existing varnish and then applied a coat of one part varnish followed by on the following day a light sand and a coat of two parts varnish. We stripped all the window frames down to bare teak as well as the eyebrow front hatch and aft companionway hatch and door. Next he applied a coat of Smith's penetrating epoxy. My plan here was I wanted to preserve the wood and make it easy for someone in the future to strip off all the white paint if uh, they desire to revert the boat back to a varnished teak look. Here's some progress photos on the application of epoxy. Strip the side door and same process for that item. Here are the windows epoxied. Uh, we took a break from the work and took the boat out to the island for the weekend with white primer applied. following week, they resumed with stripping down and removing all the caulking from the aft hatch and door. Some more sanding progress on the cap rail varnish. And here is what the windows and eyebrow look like with primer applied. There are two coats of white primer. And here's the finished look with a all grip high gloss white paint. Very happy with how it all turned out. I think it modernizes the boat, although that wasn't my goal. My goal with this was to just minimize the amount of varnish that needs to be maintained. And I think we left just enough varnished trim to appreciate the look and the amount of wood that's involved in one of these 1980s era boats. My flybridge and the, around the eyebrow here you can see the gel coat's pretty dinged up and scuffed up. We're talking about filling and white painting that possibly next season. And here you can see they did a really good job. Mirror finish almost looks like an automotive paint. Super happy with all of it. Thanks for watching.